Welcome to the video tutorial on linear regression with categorical variables in R. This time we're not going to actually use R again. We're just going to go through some of the math so that we can make sense of R once we see what R gives us. Okay, jump back to simple linear regression. We're going to turn this into a multiple linear regression just like in the last things that we've been doing. Okay, so we have a response Y, a predictor X. This is nice if it's continuous. We're going to pretend X is continuous. But what if we have a categorical variable with multiple categories? This is going to be the problem this time. Last time we looked at dichotomous variables. Now let's look at when they have more than one category and they're really not orderable. So here's my example. Suppose you have a categor categorical variable such as city. Suppose we have Richmond, Cincinnati, San Diego, and Toronto. Clearly there's no natural ordering to these uh, with just this information. So we're going to have to create categories for them. And we're going to use the same thing that we did last time, which is create some indicator variables that will tell us which city we're in. So this is how I'm going to define it. Now I have four cities, but I'm going to convert it into three new random variables. And you'll see by the end of the video why it makes sense to leave the fourth one out. But these are just like we did before. They're indicator variables. The first one is one for Richmond, zero otherwise. Uh, C2 is one for Cincinnati, zero otherwise. C3 is one for San Diego, zero otherwise. Now look, I turned my one categorical variable that just had four levels to it, and I've turned it into three new variables. So if you're thinking of this and you're worried about degrees of freedoms and things like that, this does eat up degrees of freedom. Just keep that in mind when you're running all of these things if you're worried about degrees of freedom. I put down here, we don't create an indicator variable for Toronto since we know if we're not in any of the above cities, then we must be in Toronto. However, we can think about this in a different way, which we'll do in a minute. And it's important to keep track of which missing city is there is. And this is gonna be our reference city. Okay, so let's look at the next idea here. So I'm gonna create a multiple linear regression adding in C1, C2, and C3. So here's my model. This is my model here. This is the simple linear regression part. And now I have my indicator variables that I've stuck in here to help explain the variation due to city. Now, notice that this is just shifting the intercept, okay? So my reference city, notice Toronto is in here in this uh, combination. Because if I'm not in C1, uh, C1, which is city one, that would be zero. Not in city two, that's a zero. Not in city three, that's a zero. So all of these here uh, are zeros. So we just end up with this bit. So it does end up in the model, but we don't specify it. And that's the key here. We don't specify it, but it does end up in the model. And notice that here we have beta zero, uh, beta two. That gives us the shift on the intercept for Richmond. Beta three gives us the shift in the intercept for Cincinnati. Beta four gives us the shift in the intercept for San Diego. Okay, so this is what these kind of mean. And, and I'm just trying to get you to think about this. Notice that Toronto is actually in the model because I think a lot of people think that it's, or not San Diego, Toronto is actually in the model. Even though they didn't specify it, it by default is in there. Okay, so I mentioned before the coefficients are the difference in the intercepts. And I, here I uh, highlight difference because notice Toronto is at the end of each one of these. It's the difference from Richmond to Toronto. So if I want to directly compare Richmond and Toronto, I can say, look, beta two is that difference. If I want to correct, uh, compare Cincinnati and Toronto, beta three is that difference. If I want to compare Beta four, or I mean San Diego and Toronto, beta four is it. So Toronto here is what I mean by the reference city. We're constantly referring back to Toronto. And I say, notice it's difficult to say, what if I wanted to know the difference between Cincinnati and San Diego? Well, I can play this little trick here uh, that if you're a statistician, you're quite aware of, you would just difference these. So beta three and beta four, you can think of this as the difference, is what I set up here, between Cincinnati and Toronto. That's what beta three means. 
And San Diego, and the difference between San Diego and Toronto is beta 4. So if I subtract those two, and you just do a little bit of math here, you can see that Toronto cancels itself out, and I can get the difference between Cincinnati and San Diego. So you, this does allow us to develop a model that gives us information. It just may not give us directly the information that we're interested in. So keep that in mind if you're doing this. You may have to do some subtraction on coefficients in order to get what you're looking for. Uh, but also notice that the variable that city that we left out, it becomes our reference city, so it's important to pay attention. Now, when we go over to R, you'll see that it will give you information about, say, Richmond, Cincinnati, and San Diego, but it won't mention Toronto anywhere. You would need to know what that is. So don't blindly run this stuff in the computer and hope that it will give you what you're looking for. All right, so we're going to jump into R in the next video, and I'll see you there.